two, let's solve this problem. So, consider this discrete probability distribution. Then, to complete the probability distribution or to find the unknown, since one property of the discrete probability distribution that the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1. So to solve for the unknown, so we have 0 0.09 plus 0 0.22 then plus for the unknown, you can use variable x then plus 0 0.28 then plus 0 0.17 then equals to 1. Then to solve for x, so we have 1 minus the sum of these numbers. So we have 0 0.09 plus 0 0.22 plus 0 0.28 then plus 0 0.17 equals that 0 0.76 so we have 1 minus 0 0.76 so therefore the unknown probability is equal to 0 0.24 so this is 0 0.24 then to solve for this problem so what is the probability that the random variable x is greater than 4. So this is x equals to 4. And these are the numbers greater than 4. So to find the probability, just add these probabilities. So we have 0 0.28 plus 0 0.17. So the probability that the random variable x is greater than 4 is 0 0.45. Then for this problem, so the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, so this is x equals to 2, and this is the number less than 2, since x is equal to 2 so therefore x equals 2 is also part of the probability then to find out the probability so just add these two numbers or two probabilities so we have 0 0.09 plus 0 0.22 so the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.31 then for this problem so to find the probability that x is greater than 2 so this is x equals to 2 and these are the numbers greater than 2 but since x is less than or equals to 6 so this is x equals to 6 since x is less than or equal to 6. So therefore, 6 is part of the probability and this is the number less than 6. So just add these two numbers to find the probability. So we have 0 0.24 then plus 0 0.28 so therefore the probability that x is greater than 2 but x is less than or equal to 6 is 0. Point. then for this distribution so to complete this probability distribution so again the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1 so to find now the unknown so we have 1 over 12 plus 1 over 3 then plus so we can use variable x for the unknown 
then plus 1 over 6, then plus 1 over 4, then equals to 1. So observe, from the given fractions, the highest denominator is 12. So we need to change all these denominators to 12. So this is 1 over 12, then plus for this 1 over 3, to make this 3 equals to 12, so times 4, so 1 times 4, this is 4, over 3 times 4, that's 12, then plus the unknown, that's x, then plus this 1 over 6, to make this denominator equal to 12, so times 2, so we have 1 times 2, that's 2, then over 6 times 2, that's 12, then plus for this 1 over 4, so times 3 to make this equal to 12, so 1 times 3, this is 3, then over 4 times 3, that's 12, then this is equal, and 1 is equal to 12 over 12. Then since we have now the same denominators, so we can add now all these numerators. So to solve now for the unknown, so we have 12 over 12, and this is equal to 1, then minus the sum of this numerator so we have 1 plus 4 this is 5 plus 2 this is 7 plus 3 that's 10 so this is 10 over you copy the denominator 12 so therefore the unknown probability so copy the denominator 12 and subtract this 12 and 10, so 12 minus 10, that's 2. Then to reduce, so divisible by 2, so the unknown probability is 1 over 6. So this is 1 over 6. Then to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5. So this is x equal to 5, and these are the numbers greater than 5 since x is equal to 5 so therefore 5 is part of the probability so add uh, these three probabilities so we have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 then again we need to change all the denominators to 12 so this is times 2, so this becomes 2 over 12, then plus, this is times 2, and this is 2 over 12, then plus, this one is times 3, so 3 over 12. Then to simplify, so just copy the denominator and add the numerators, so we have 7 over 12. Then for this problem, so x is less than or equal to 5. So this is x equals to 5 since less than. So these are the numbers less than 5. But since x is greater than 1, so this is x equals to 1 and greater than 1. So these are the numbers greater than 1. So since we have this x equals to 5, so therefore, this x equals 5 is part of the probability. So you add these two numbers. So this is 1 over 3, then plus 1 over 6. So we can change this denominator to 12 or to 6. So to change this to 12, so times 4. So this is 4 over 12, then plus 4, 6 times 2, that's 2 over 12.
or you can just change this 3 to 6, so just times 2. So we got the same answer. So to simplify, so copy this denominator 12 and add these two numerators. So this is 6 or this is equal to 1 over 2. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 but greater than 1 is 1 over 2.